Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA brought a little bit of hype back to the menus yesterday with one of the favorite SBCs of latter times in FC24 being released back on the game because it's an SBC that's so easy to complete and it's really good value. We're talking about a pack SBC, the latest content that was dropped yesterday, and content that is upcoming, and of course, some EA mistakes that keep on reoccurring with one specific card that we have to look at in today's video as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go talk about that SBC content because that is actually where the only content that we had yesterday was dropped was inside of SBCs. Daily Challenge SBC yesterday was the Magic 4. Again, if you're doing the completionist objective, that was out for you. Pretty easy to complete. It's like 3,000 coins. And we move on from there to the upgrades where we had a couple different SBCs. First of all, first of all we had the 82 plus upgrade. Guys, I think a lot of us were hoping, hoping for an 80 plus player pick but unfortunately we are left with an 82 plus upgrade which is a higher rating guarantee than usual for an unlimited upgrade SBC pack and it's not bad value per se it's just I think we really wanted a player pick and the fact that this is a little annoying that it requires four rares and three commons so I'm not complaining too much about this because that is a decent upgrade pack and it is kind of cheap with the amount of gold so you have to turn into it but also from opening five six seven of these yesterday it's just an 82 and an 83 rated simulator, guys. You might get the occasional 85, maybe a walkout, but it's so many 82s and 83s. An 80 plus player pick you feel like just has better weight than something along these lines. And it's okay if you have duplicates when you're doing player picks, right? That's the whole point. So yeah, I think this upgrade SBC is just not liked as much as an 80 plus player pick would have been 19% uh, upvoted, but it is pretty cheap. So that SBC can also help you get the SBC that we're going to talk about today. That is the exciting one. You probably already know what it is done. And that is the 83 times 10 guys. They brought it back. They require the same thing as before, an 83 rated squad and an inform, and it's three times a day. So EA dropped this SBC during the first part of team of the year. They take it away when <clears throat> the full team is in packs, and then they bring it back now during Road to the Final the week after Team of the Year. Why didn't we have this during Team of the Year, EA? That would have been freaking fantastic. But th this is like becoming, again, like I said in the intro, one of the favorite SBCs of the year because it's so easy to craft. It is so easy to get done, and you get 10 players back. You basically turn in for it what you get back, and then you hope to obtain higher rated fodder that you can then put into other SBCs, right? Like from the 8310s that I opened yesterday, I got two double walkouts um, in two different of those 8310s. I know that's good luck. I also picked up a couple of informs as well. So honestly, the 8310s are such a nice SBC because all you need are, ten, are you need nine 83s and two 82s, and one of those 83s needs to be an inform, and you're good to go. Especially with informs now being 85 rated minimum, if you pack one, like that's really easy. Then you're turning in a couple of 82s and maybe even some 81s to get that squad done, to get a bunch of 83s, and hopefully a couple of higher rated cards at the front of the pack as well. 95% upvoted. Honestly, it's restored the menu grind back on this game, guys. Like, it's worth logging in and doing those SBCs because they're so easy to do. Like, you get them done in like five, 10 minutes. Like, it's that easy to do. If you need a little bit of help from maybe a daily upgrade, like the 82 plus or whatever, you can get that done as well. So that is actually like a really big dub. Honestly, that's that's saved a lot of the hype on the menus, at least in my opinion. And it helps you kind of craft other SBCs with higher rated fodder for sure. So, you know, that was one of the things that we were doing yesterday was crafting a little bit based off of that. And it did, in fact, make informs rise, guys. And I think there's a little bit of investing that's going on here, of course, since this SBC is three times repeatable every single day. Informs went from 17, 18,000 coins all the way down to 22K. And they're probably going to just rise the next couple of days because they're going to be in so much demand for this 83 times 10. That's the kind of hype that this SBC has. Like nothing moved team of the weeks really at all in the past, what, week, two weeks? The 83 times 10 comes out again and boom, informs go up like four to 5,000 cards. So these could continue to go up a little bit more during the week this week. But once that, once that SBC goes away, I'd probably say they're going to drop back down again. It's that SBC in entirely that's making informs move so i was not expecting informs to rise but they did ggs if you invested uh keep them lazy listed this week if you have those i know a lot of us have them untradeable and still the 83 plus player pick is incredibly cheap to get done uh so 
do that maybe with untradeable fodder before you do uh, just go and buy off one of these team leaks off of the market. But that was kind of the SPC that revived a little bit of the menu hype for sure, right? Because here's the thing with the 83 times 10, I know a lot of you guys are thinking about this too. You're, you're in the between the crossroads of like, hmm, do I save this pack? Because we got future stars upcoming and, and future stars icons, which we're going to talk about that. Like, how does that even work? I don't know. We're going to talk about that in this video too. But you could save it for future stars that is upcoming, or you could open it right now and hope for the chance of packing a card that could potentially be upgradable in the future. So I'm ripping all these right now. Maybe on Thursday, I'll save three of them for future stars. We'll see. But this is an SBC that you 100% want to log on every day, get your three done, either save those packs or open them. And then same thing with the 85 plus player pick, right? Um, the 85 plus player pick can be a byproduct of the 83 times 10. If you get some 84s, maybe an 85, put that in there and boom, you have another, maybe not as worth it, but still repeatable everyday SBC you can craft from the 83 times 10. Fodder in terms of other uh, ratings than just the informs, 82s. If you can get 82 non-rare specifically, guys, because the non-rare 82s can go as low as 400 coins on bid, or maybe 350, but 400 at least, 450 on a minimum buy it now. These cards are going up. They were all 450 yesterday, now they're 600 apiece. If you can get on these bids of non-rares for like 500 or maybe still 450, list them at like a thousand 1100 coins same thing with the 83s list those at like 12 to 1300 coins because people are going to be doing this 83 times 10 they'll be doing then the 85 plus player pick with the fodder that they get and maybe even the 83 plus team league which they might have to buy a couple of those cheaper in uh cards for for the fodder range so i would continue to lazy list those that'll be a good very easy place to be trading um 86's price range update they are now seventeen thousand coins a lot of them are still extinct or just now coming onto the market but ea did update some price ranges on fodder uh which was i mean needed for sure but they finally did that yesterday and a lot of these 86's are still basically max price but as i'm looking at fodder it's it's maybe starting to slightly dip a little bit there now that those cards especially as so many people probably had them at 12k and maybe you were still even holding on to them starting to look like they're dipping a little i'm looking at 85s they're down a little below 7,000 coins i'm not expecting big dips on fodder today at all um, we're getting a little bit of supply each and every day from store packs and then from the tradable packs that are out here in the challenge section but it's not that much so fodder shouldn't move too much but keep lazy listing on the low end especially guys if you're lazy listing your fodder make sure your listings are going to be expiring every single day like 10 15 minutes after content because that is when you get the best amount of sales as that's when the most amount of people are going and doing those SBCs. So that's one of the biggest tips I can give you is look out for those. Now, we had a big player SBC yesterday as well. Before we talk about more Road to the Knockouts, more SBC content, we have to cover is Carlitos Tevez. And, uh, you know, it was his birthday yesterday. That's really cool uh, that they released his SBC on his birthday. He's also been like the focal point of the season rewards, like the TIFO and all the stuff that's about Carlos Tevez inside of the season. Kind of just makes sense, I guess. Didn't, didn't really see this coming beforehand before the leak was released yesterday, but it makes sense to release a Carlos Tevez SBC. Now, this is a basically a big name player SBC that is for the nostalgia factor. If you're a fan of Tevez, if you watch them play and you're like, dude, I need this in my club um, for whatever team you supported, or maybe you're Argentinian, this is not a bad SBC, but it's kind of one of those that, again, as we mentioned, is overpriced because of the fact that fodder is expensive right now. It's a little less expensive than I thought it might have been. It's 1.3, 1.35 mil to get done. His card on the market was 1.5 before all this, so it's a slight haircut from that. He is now like 1.2. He was 1.1 on the market, so so this one, though, I don't know if it's like if you compare him, a lot of people are comparing him and Lautaro Martinez as both Argentinian strikers. They have the exact same playstyle plus for technical plus and the same passing, uh, sorry, pace and shooting stats as well on the face out of the card and dribbling as well. It's like it's they're very comparable cards, except Tevez has five star skills, the better links, the cooler dynamic image, in my opinion. So whatever you want to do with this, do with it. Um, again, Tevez is a very big name player one of the biggest named heroes especially a new one this year uh to fc24 so it's a decent sbc right it's okay i'm not going to tell you that you have to do it because i think it is a little expensive and it's maybe not up to par with some of the other strikers that you might even have in your ultimate team club so i'll say that about that but it is nice to have that option to craft and the price of sbc should go down a little bit this weekend i hope as fodder drops as well now let's look at the ea content tweet because they're back 
tweeting about this week in Ultimate Team. Of course, we've got the UEFA here SBC, but there's some there's some mysterious things about this tweet tweet that I want to go over, guys. First of all, they show Air Divisi and Serie A Player of the Month. Guys, we had Air Divisi Player of the Month, Brian Broby. That was dropped on Friday with the La Liga Player of the Month just a few days ago. I don't believe we're getting another Air Divisi Player of the Month SBC. There's actually two. It's actually a big mistake right now. Um, that a lot of people are saying, oh, but Nate, uh, we're going to get one because Brian Broby is expiring. Well, there's an 86 Brian Broby that's expiring in two days. But if you go a little bit further back, you will see that there is another Brian Broby. This is the one that was released just last Friday. It's 87 rated. That is the Eredivisie Player of the Month. So we're not going to get another one of those this week. But we are going to get Serie A Player of the Month. And we know who that is. That is Mr. Vlahovic. He is getting himself a Serie A POTM card. Probably not going to be that expensive. Probably not going to be that juiced. But if you're a Juve fan, it could be a nice card. Actually, that looks... Statistics are, of course, are predicted here. But that looks very comparable to Lautaro Martinez. I know he's a different player in game. He's taller. Maybe a little more of a truck. Maybe better at heading than Lautaro is. Not as good as dribbling. But... That's going to be a card that's coming soon. If you are a Juve fan, that'll be nice for you. And then a road to the final, uh, specifically Europa League road to the final SBC, which we know the name of the player who that's going to be as well. Leaked Coates, who is in Team of the Week, I believe, because I've packed his card a couple of times. Uh, he is going to be a road to the final SBC soon. And I hope they give him a pretty sizable pace boost. But this one should end up being pretty cheap. Doesn't seem like it's going to be massive or super duper hyped. But if you're a League of Portugal fan, if you're a sporting fan, that'll be nice to have for you. And then the real big question mark inside of this is showdown SBCs. Now, what in the world are EA going to drop a showdown for? We've got Champions League. It's upcoming next week. So this could be related to that. But there's also some big matchups happening this weekend in league play as well. There's so many different um, big league games that could be highlighted by these showdowns. Like, there's so many, guys. Bayern versus Leverkusen is just one of them that I think off the top of my, my head. Uh, but this could also be an SBC that's released on Saturday or Sunday of this upcoming weekend that would have kind of a tie to the Champions League game. So I don't know what it is. I would watch out for leaks. But I would say... that I think today on this game, we're going to get a player SBC once again. Probably the road to the final SBC... Or a shot. Who knows? It could be any of these things. But I'm, I'm down for showdown. Showdown SBCs are always so fun. They're probably going to be a little expensive, as they usually are. But I'm actually excited for that. And then, of course, new Evos, theme team pursuit, and upgrade SBCs. So nothing too surprising with that bottom line. That's there just about every week. Now, a little bit more surprising stuff happened yesterday with, uh, with this card, man. You guys know... We're transitioning into the EA uh, mistakes conversation, right? Because it seems like every single video we've been making in the past, what, week now? There's been a new mistake to talk about. And there was a big mistake last week with Tella, right? Before his card was released in packs, all of the silver versions automatically just transformed into the road of the knockouts. And it was like, wow, what a big EA mistake. They never commented on it. He's now in packs as he should be. They never said a thing. But yesterday, to add on top of this whole situation... All of the Road to the Final telecards turned into gold items with the no dynamic image, just his regular face shot on his silver, but they were golds. And I didn't uh, see this on the market at any point in time, but there was a couple hours, I think it was maybe like two hours or so, where all the Road to the Final Tellas were gold cards and they were capped at, at a max price of 30,000 coins. And if you take a look at his graph, you can see that Tella Road to the Final went crazy from like 50k all the way to 400 he was 480,000 coins he was max price that was his max price 480 on this card and then they fixed it because you like couldn't list the gold card or if you did obviously it got sniped right away because think about it this is the same card as the road to the final and it was just getting like sniped up right away because that price is, is way too low so this is just this card is just everywhere bro i don't even know what EA is doing with this card, bro, I'm just so confused because this card is just like, it just glitches around all the time. It's a gold card. It's a silver card. It's a road to the final. It's a crazy situation. So uh, some people were able to make some crazy coins off of that yesterday. Um, I hope that none of you guys listed your Tela for 30K or like hit relist all on your transfer, tar transfer list. And it relisted your card for the max price because that surely could have happened as well. But uh, yeah, I don't know if they're ever going to say anything about this because this is one of the more peculiar situations where a card is literally just changing card types and price ranges. 
like all at the same time. So really, really weird, but that is fixed and looks to be working as normal on the market now. And then of course the Matteo Genduzzi situation EA tweeted about yesterday as well, right? His card showed that it was Lazio, but also like League One League. And this is the second, I think the second or third time this year. Remember it happened with Thunderstruck Cruyff earlier on where they said that a player item was released incorrectly. The item has been updated and those who obtained Road to the Final Genduzzi through the market before the league update will be sent back their ultimate team coins and contacted in game in the coming days. So it's yet again, another situation where you get sent back the coins and guys, this is something to really take note of um, just because if it happens in the future, I'm not telling you that you need to like look for this and then wait and then go buy the card when this sort of thing happens. But remember with Cruyff, people that bought Cruyff off the market when he had the incorrect playstyle plus on his card, um, they got 6 million coins back. And that was a really crazy situation that I know a lot of people don't have 6 million coins, but this card was 190k, albeit he was extinct. So it was very difficult to snipe him and to buy his car but everybody who bought Genduzi before he was changed to Syria and he showed league one will be getting their coins back even if they sold the card for 190k or whatever they sold it for they're going to get their coins back 190k times however many they bought so it's a really weird situation this year that ea is starting to give coins back it's not often that they do that for compensation but now we've seen it multiple times this year that's something to look out for um in the future promos on this game if that mistake is made again not to try to take advantage of it but just to know that that is like a possible way of compensation i guess um and then again it's it's risky to try to you know go for a compensation situation anyway but that's kind of what's happening there um and I, again i'm just surprised like giving out coins doesn't seem like a very ea thing to do but that's the way they've been doing it this year which is really intriguing now speaking of this card he was extinct at 190,000 coins. And yesterday, everybody who was keeping this card extinct, we had some conversations yesterday on the stream about why cards go extinct. Like the 86 rated fodder, that was not extinct because people were, were um, you know, like buying all those up and, you know, just hoping to profit off of that. There maybe was a few people buying at 12K and then waiting for a price range update. But price range updates on fodder, I think, happened less than on promo cards. Um, but what was happening here with this Genduzi is people were specifically sniping at 100, 190K because they thought that it was worth more than that. And I don't think it had anything to do with this news because this price dropped off before the news was tweeted out about this giving coins back situation. Uh, but people started to sell this card as evidently they didn't see the price range updated when other price ranges were updated. And now this card without a price range update has fallen down from 190K down to 120,000 coins, which I'm going to be honest. I know that they're not expected to get any uh, upgrades, especially because they play Bayern. But like, guys, Genduzi is always a really good card in this game. He's got French midfield links medium high six foot one he's got the hair trait longer hair in game and he's got press proven plus which is one of the better play styles in the game tiki taka ping pass incisive pass this is a really good card i'm not telling you to buy it all i'm saying is this is a really really good card for a budget if they end up losing their first match against Bayern, he's probably going to drop off and be like 50 something thousand coins or something like that this is going to be a really good budget center mid for a low budget team he's a really good card he always always plays above his stats kind of like i mean i'm not going to make the comparison to hold it but that's kind of what i'm reminded of here with this type of card a big tall strong physical cdm with press proven and really good other stats so that's a card that i have my eye on but i'm really not buying it right now because really um I don't think he was ever worth 190k. I know yesterday that I was like, oh yeah, he could be worth more than that uh, on the stream and talking about it. But then I, I didn't notice that on PC, he was like 100k. Even yesterday when this one was extinct at 190 on PlayStation, but he was on the market the whole weekend on, um, or since Sunday on PC and he was like 110k. Uh, I did not notice that beforehand. I thought he was extinct on both. Um, and these cards have been really rare. So I was like, wow, there's hype for Genduzi. He's probably going to go up once they update the price range. But that is not the case because the supply and the panic selling has kind of overrun that. Um, and the fact that he was on the market, again, way lower than 190 on PC. If I would have realized that, then I would not have held on to this card if or told you to hold on to the card if you had it. But that's kind of the situation that we are here with this one. I mean, crazy upside. If they're even able to draw against Bayern in their first match, that card would go up a crazy amount because a plus one in-form upgrade on that card would go crazy 
especially with, uh, again, how good he's probably is in game. So that's me enough of me talking about Ganduzi. Those are the EA mistakes roundup from yesterday on this game. Let's talk about market a bit because we talked about a lot of investing and trading and all that stuff yesterday, and it worked out really good. I sold the uh, Leon Baileys that I bought for 190K. I sold them for 220. Uh, that was a really good flip there. And a lot of these Road to the Final cards continue to be great movers lucy bronze before content yesterday was like 270 280 picked up a couple right around 280k sold for some small profits uh this rodri was an, an example of an out of packs card bought for 1.05 sold for 1.155 so i made about 40 something thousand coins there and a lot of this team is doing well i bought a javi simons for 400k it looks like he's going up a bit now yeah, come on. If we get that sale at 423, we're looking at 440. That's a good fluctuation there. Some of them are down, though. Lukaku, 924. Darwin Nunez is low. Um, Sule is up. He was in the 240s, 250s. He is up for sure. Guru Retens down again. Zambo and Guisa is down, but Marino is up. Gavardiola is up. It's a mixed bag with all these cars. Some are up, some are down. Um, and I just think that for me, like we talked about, with the two buy windows for a lot of these cards, we're going to talk about them a lot this week because... They're so hyped, right, for the live cards and the updates, upgrades that they could potentially get. I just think that we're getting, today is one day closer to that second window, as we kind of talked about, where I do believe that on some of these, there is a lot of investor hype, um, and we're going to get more supply through this this week, which if I have Javi Simons, I'm going to list him right now because he's 439, and I would love to take, oh, I already have him listed. I have him listed for a lazy. All right, in two minutes, I'll list him for like 435. If I can get a sale there, I'd be very happy with that 15 14, 15,000 coin profit. That'd be really nice. Um, but I think today for especially some of the lower rated ones, I'm going to not buy them as much. They'll still be good to trade with. I think their card prices will be very strong into today. But I think I'm going to start cooling off a little bit trading with these um, just because we're getting closer to tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday where I think they will end up dropping off a good bit more. But these cards were great to flip again yesterday just to point that out once more. Like they were really good to trade with. People are buying them a lot. And they're definitely being used in game. So that bodes well for them. But I do believe that we still could see some prices drop later on in the week. And I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to just trying to forecast that out, especially with the hype of future stars. So if you don't want to mess with that right now, the safer place to be would be out of packs. I'm gonna mention it like every single day this week in the videos. Like the Rodri that I flipped yesterday, or like Trent at 106 right now. I think that's an undercut. Yeah, it definitely is. He might be tough to snipe, but this is a card that you can lazy sell and get really good sales on. If you buy him under 110, you can probably get sales like 117. It's it's not that good a profit for him. So you maybe want to find somebody on a little bit lower level for a smaller fluctuation. But like, man, going through some of these cards, uh, Trippier, I just saw Trippier at 189. Now he's 199. Let's look at his graph. Ice Trippier goes from 183 up to 198. Wow. So you get Trippier at 180. And it looks like you might even be able to sell them at 200, right? 199, then a 202, and a 205. A lot of the out-of-packs market just continues to fluctuate so well. So spend 10, 15 minutes looking inside of your budget at, ooh, Hugo Sanchez at 480? Yeah, tell me more. Like, I'm sure he was 540 yesterday at one point. Nah, okay, only 514. Maybe it was Sunday? Yeah, Sunday he had 533. So I guess 480 is not really low enough. I need like a 460 or a 470 because I can see where he sells at, and it's not high enough as high as I thought, but you saw that I picked up an Adiemi. That was on my transfer list because that's a card that I know hits 270 almost every single day. And the fact that he was just at 250 on the market, I snagged one on a bid for 240. Uh, there's a 254, 250 flat. Like if I could see another one under 245, thousand coins that'd be a pretty safe pickup for a flip so that's where i'm kind of focusing at right now i flipped the scn that i bought last night i'm going to be a little more careful with icons though i was looking at a few icons yesterday but with this news of future stars icons which i want to talk about that in this video right now like wrapping my mind around what in the world how how is a future star also an icon if we start getting leaks for icon players you wouldn't want to be trading with those and get stuck again, especially if it's an icon that hasn't had a special this year or hasn't had a special in a long time, right? If it was somebody that was in winter wild cards, I think you're safe. They probably won't get a future stars, but just something to kind of think about because this was tweeted yesterday. Icons are coming as a part of the future stars promo, and this is the official design. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen an icon card design with pink on it, but that is interesting. I don't dislike the design. And I think Sheriff doesn't either. He's just crying, laughing because how is a future star also an icon? Is it somebody, is it going to be players who 
were stars in their younger stages of their career and then turned out to be icons. But isn't that most players? I don't know. I'm a little confused at how they're going to do this, what icons are going to be involved in this. And honestly, it just feels like it's going to be another way where they can put icons into packs, promo versions of icons, um, and then be able to sell some packs and, and try to get some hype around that, which I'm not complaining about. I'm just like kind of scratching my head trying to figure out how is that going to work? So that was one of the biggest leaks of yesterday's content on this game is that we're going to get new icons for future stars, which does definitely uh, add to the hype of the promo itself and one thing i want to look up as well is some of these tweets yesterday guys i want you guys to make sure that you know that these are not leaks these are predictions um i know that sometimes you see a graphic on twitter on x and you're like oh my goodness nate did you see this tweet about harvey elliott kwanzaa and connor bradley all getting future stars cards no it's it's not all of them getting future stars cards right it's uh it's probably just one of them. I doubt that they do multiple from a team. He also tweeted this about Manchester United, right? Uh, this is a prediction with Manu, Hoyland, and, and Ganacho. We'll see what happens. I mean, I think these guys are kind of just, I think they have some of the leaks already, as you've seen a couple of them leaked. But I think as we get into today, into tomorrow, you'll start to see more and more of that news uh, about uh, future stars officially start to get leaked. I'm going to list my Javi Simons right here for 433. I picked up a Guru reaching at, reaching at uh, 365, which I thought was really low. And I was hoping that she could go back up to like 400K, but we'll see. She's still pretty low, but this is a really rare card and has a lot of hype. So we'll see if she can get back to 400,000 coins. And then uh, I still have some Zamboin Guises right now that I'm working through as well. So we'll keep listing those. We'll keep trading. Today will be another good day to work the market, guys. And um, hopefully EA have a few surprises for us. Again, I do think for today's content, it'll just be the refresh of all the SBCs that we've had thus far. Maybe that road to the knockouts Evo potentially as well. So uh, watch out for guys like DePaul, Acuna that potentially fit that evolution. But I think that the refresh of the regular SBCs and then either Coates, uh, the Serie A player of the month, or a showdown uh, could be dropping today in this game as well looking over my notes i don't think i missed anything but uh yeah guys that's gonna be the video for me today and i will catch you guys on the live stream as well we'll be hitting the 83 times 10s we'll be doing upgrade packs trying to give ourselves a chance at packing a road to the final why not and uh grinding through some rivals I haven't played rivals in like two weeks maybe three weeks got to get into that because that's kind of what we got to do to get some packs and rewards flowing for this game this week without other gameplay modes to grind so that's what i'll be doing today on stream if you're excited for it Drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the Count. See you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.